good morning everyone welcome back to my channel welcome back to another vlog so yes i am on the floor uh today we're doing things a little bit more casual i am in front of a window and i will say that this is the best spot in the house like i have the best lighting here uh in front of this window so that's why i am going to start getting ready in front of this window uh i wanted to show you the way i have been doing my makeup um and of course i have my makeup bag here with me uh so let me put you in the right spot so I have to say that this morning I got ready, I got dressed, I did my hair, which by the way is still looking a little bit too curly. Hopefully uh, the curls can drop a little bit more throughout the day. Um, and yes, and I did my skincare. So I have to say that the only things that I have applied on my face is obviously hyaluronic acid, a vitamin C serum, I have moisturizer all over my face, and I have eye cream. And I cannot forget about SPF as well. So that's what I'm working with. And I also want to show you uh, the makeup products that I have in front of me and this is these products are the products that have been working for me for uh, for a while so the makeup that I'm about to do is the makeup that you see me wearing during my styling videos my vlogs and the makeup that I have been doing I have been enjoying for the everyday and I also want to show you a product that I recently added to my makeup routine and I am talking about the signature lip lipstick by Merit Beauty um, this product was sent to me a couple of weeks ago and I I have been loving it I have to be honest I have been loving it this is what I have been wearing almost every single day uh, and when I'm not it's because I have no makeup at all on my face but I have to say that I have been loving this lipstick so I want to talk about this lipstick a little bit more uh, but this is the new product from Merit Beauty and so far I have been loving it and you already know how picky I am with lipsticks all right so we are going to start with the base with my skin so for that I am going to be using a product that I included in my favorites of the year 2021 I am going to leave that video somewhere in the screen um, and this is a product that ever since I tried it I have been loving it so much especially for the everyday so I am talking about the Merit Beauty perfecting complexion stick in the shade ochre and this is not a foundation this is not uh, a concealer it's something in between and I love that because you can just um, achieve the look that you're looking for depending on how much you apply of this product so if you just want something a little bit like really natural you can just spot conceal or if you want more coverage you can just apply more product so I got this one in the shade ochre but before I was using 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 the shades sand and silk you can see how well loved they have been so this one is sand and this one is silk and i was mixing both of the shades to be able to achieve the shade ochre which is the shade that ma that matches my skin tone right now so i really like the product because it feels really lightweight on the skin it is really easy to glide on your skin and apply it um, and for like blending everything i am going to be using this foundation brush by Merit Beauty. Before I was using this foundation brush from, from Morphe, uh, this is the M439 from Morphe foundation brush and it is soft, it is really nice, but after trying this one, this one is way softer. So this is the result as you can see my skin still looks like skin the product looks really natural it looks really glowy that's something that I really like this product is not completely matte it's not too dewy it's just something in the middle I have combination skin uh, so this is my oily part the t-zone and this part here is really really dry and this product works really really nice for me so this is the way it looks like as you can see you can still see my freckles it covered like uh, some pigmentation that I have on my skin but it still looks really really natural so now I am going to apply uh, some concealer because we have to cover all this so for that I'm going to be using my favorite concealer which is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer I am using the shade Madeleine which is the shade light 
2.3 so I am going to apply a little bit of that and then I am going to apply a lighter shade which is the lightest shade that they have which is Chanty G in the color light one so I am going to apply this one in key points just to bring a little bit more of brightness to my face Alright, so now I'm going to do my eyebrows because without eyebrows I feel so ugly. I will say that I can skip everything else, but I need to have my eyebrows done. So for that I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, which is like a, like a pen. Um, and I use it in the shade Dark Brown. So I really like this product because the tip, the product itself is really, really small, really precise. And I just use it to fill up the gaps that I have because I have like full brows here, but towards the end they are like bald, I would say. Alright, so these are my brows after using the brow pen by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade dark brown. And now I am going to be applying a brow gel. So the one that I have been using is this one by Merit Beauty in the shade black brown. And just look at it. Just look at the beautiful packaging, all gold. I love that. Um, and I really like this product because, first of all, the color is really natural it's, it doesn't feel like uh too dark especially when you have like dark hair as, as mine i don't want something too like too much and if you already have full brows and you just require something super low maintenance and you just want a little bit of hold a little bit of pigment i really recommend this product I go the extra step with the brow pen because years ago I did a, a microblading that I regret so much. After that, I tried to remove it with laser and that caused me to lose some of the hairs that I had towards the end. That's why I have the bald spots that I'm trying to grow again. Uh, but yeah, but you can just use this product on its own. Okay, for the next step, I have setting powder. And this is something that I usually skip if I'm staying at home, uh, if the weather or the temperature is not changing too much, I skip this. But if it's hot outside, I just set like the problematic areas that I have on my face. As I said, the T-zone, uh, which is my nose, my forehead, and around my nose and my mouth as well. So for that, I always use the Laura Mercier translucent powder and this is the mini version. I always like to get the mini version to be able to keep it in my makeup bag or sometimes in my purse with me when I go out to just touch up everything every once in a while. And for that, I'm going to be using this brush. I really like the finish of this powder because it's so, so natural. So that's more than enough. I'm not applying a lot of product. I'm just using whatever is left on the brush. Okay, so now I am going to be applying eyeshadow and I have to say that this is not something that I do every single day. I just do this when I am feeling a little bit extra or I want something a little bit more glam, um, but I always like to keep it natural. So for that, I am going to be using the mini, mini glam palette by, by Natasha Denona. I love the formula of this eyeshadow. And as you can see, I use neutral colors. This has browns, beige, um, it has gold as well, and I love it for the everyday. So for that, I am going to be using this brush with the color beige, and I'm going to apply it all over the crease. Now I am going to be using the brown shade to use it as an eyeliner. So I am going to create a little wing and I really like, I have been enjoying the brown shade because it looks a little bit more natural and especially when you're doing it with eyeshadow. For the longest time I was doing it with black eyeliner uh, and I feel that that looks a little bit too harsh. For that I am going to be using this angled brush. This is the angled side but this one is the one that I'm going to be using, this one right here, which is a little bit round, but as you can see, it's really, really thin and it's going to give me that 
precision that I need. Now I am going to be applying uh, mascara and I have two mascaras that I love a lot, I love very much and I am still trying to decide what to do for today. Do I want something natural or do I want something a little bit more dramatic? I think I am going to go for the natural look. So I am going to be applying the Merit Beauty mascara. This one is in the color Perfect Black. and. You can see the, the beautiful packaging that it has. I love that. But I have to mention that when I want something a little bit more dramatic, I go for the Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara by L'Oreal. Um, this one is a regular version. It's not the waterproof. So I love this when I want something a little bit more dramatic. I love this mascara a lot because it is really easy to remove at night. And that is something that I love because I like to be gentle with my eye area, with the skin around my eyes. So at night, when I'm tired, I just want to go to bed. I want a product that is going to remove easily. It's not gonna be like a super tedious process and this is the mascara for it. I will have to say that uh, the one from L'Oreal, even though it's not waterproof, it is a little bit harder to remove than this one. So I love that thing about this mascara, but I have to mention that even though it is easy to remove, it's going to stay on your lashes during the whole day. So now I am going to start applying a product that I love so much. This is a product that I wanted to, to try for the longest time. I am talking about the Film Star Bronze and Glow uh, Mini Palette by Charlotte Tilbury. I love that brand so much. So as you can see, this side, which is the contouring side, is more on the cool tone, which is perfect for contouring. And this one is the highlighter, which I love because I don't know if you can see, like it is really, really lightweight. It doesn't have like a lot of how can I say it? Like, like shine doesn't shine too much. It's more like a natural finish. And sometimes I use this shade, the highlighter, as an eyeshadow as well. I am going to be doing some contouring on my face, something really natural. I needed water so now moving on I am going to start applying blush and I have been enjoying cream products and liquid products more than powders at the moment so I was able to get uh, this one from Merit Beauty in the color terracotta and um, before getting this color this shade I was using the same product in the shade raspberry berry Bere, bere. Hopefully I am pronouncing that the way it is. <laughs> Sorry about that. So this one, the Rubsberry Bere, is more like a berry tone. I love this when I am using um, like pink eyeshadows and a pink lipstick. But when I want something a little bit more neutral, something a little bit more natural, I love using the shade Terracotta, which is uh, more like a, how can I describe this? It's more like a peach tone. I just love it because it looks so natural and it actually looks like you have bronzer on. So I really like the formula of this product because it feels like really sheer. I am going to be applying it with a brush, but you can also apply it with your fingers if that's what you want. For the longest time I was doing that and it was working fine. But um, after using a brush, I think I prefer this method. Okay, so now I want to apply highlighter. And I have to say that I have been using two products. So one of them is the highlighter here in the Film Star Bronze and Glow Palette by Charlotte Tilbury, which I said that it is really, really natural. And the other one is a cream product. And this is it. This one is from Merit Beauty. Um, this one is the color Cava which is more like a champagne color and I really like it. They also have a rose gold, but I prefer this one. And I have to say that the formula of this product is really, really nice. I have to say that it is a little bit waxy, but I say that in a really good way. Like I really like the formula that it has. This is the way that I apply it. And then I blend with 
my fingers. It's really, really easy to blend and it gives you that glowy and dewy effect. I like to apply it on my cheekbones, as I said, and I like to apply it on the tip of my nose, a little bit there, here on my chin as well. And sometimes I apply it here the top of my lips. Okay, so I want to show you something that I have been including in my makeup routine, but today I don't feel like doing it, like including it, because after uh, doing my contouring with the Charlotte Tilbury palette and after applying the blush in the terracotta uh, shade, I feel like it's more than enough, like I don't need more. And I am talking about bronzer. So for the longest time, I have been using this Chanel bronzer. Um, it's a cream product and I have been loving it. It has been well loved and this lasts like for a really long time. It is gross because it has like hairs, not my hair, but the hair from the makeup brushes. I want to mention another product that was sent to me uh, and it is the clear lip oil. I already knew what the formula was going to be like because before I used the same lip oil in the color Marrakesh. Marrakesh? Um, and I feel that it is really, really beautiful. So just let me try it really quick um, for you guys. I love this lip oil because it feels like really, really hydrating on the lips. It is easy to apply and it gives you that beautiful and natural finish. All right, so finally we can apply the lipstick. So I am really excited to be able to show you these two shades that I was able to pick. So I got a slip and I got Tiger. So Slip is more like a warm neutral shade. I will say that it's not too pink. It's not too brown. It's just something in the middle. It's just right. And the other shade is Tiger, which is described as a brick red color. And I have to say that they did a really good job with the formula because the formula is amazing, lightweight. It feels like you're not wearing anything at all. Mm, look at that. I love it. I love it. I will have to say that this is the shade that I have been using uh, the most uh, for the past two weeks. And I love it because it's just perfect for the everyday. I will have to say that this shade is just perfect. As I said, not too pink, not too brown. But if you want something a little bit more pink, you can go for the shade Baby that they have in this lipstick. They have eight shades and I think they are all beautiful. Something else that I want to talk about is the packaging. So as you can see, the clear lid is just beautiful with the name in gold and once you open it obviously you have the gold as well which I love so much so when you have this product on your hands you feel like you're holding a luxury product which is basically what Mary Beauty is clean makeup brand which is luxury as well and I get the same effect when I am holding my Chanel bronzer so luxury products they are usually heavy. All right, so, so now we are going to be applying the shade Tiger. As I said, this is the brick red shade. Before getting this, I didn't have anything like this in my collection, in my makeup collection. And I have to say that it, it is really easy to glide on your lips. It is really uh, lightweight and you don't really need a lip liner, I will say. So this is a darker shade. So with dark shades, you have to be careful. And I was a little bit... Um, like I was wondering how this shade was going to be uh, on my lips, uh, but I will have to say that it is opaque in, in the way that it has enough pigmentation. It doesn't feel patchy and it doesn't look patchy at all. So I think that with this shade, you can just put it like this on your lips if you want a softer look, something a little bit more natural, or you can, or you can go all the way in as I usually do with this Color. I forgot to mention that this lipstick retails for $26 and I think the price is really good uh, considering that this is a luxury uh, makeup brand. All of their products are clean, vegan and cruelty free which I really really like. And all right, so this is the result after using the shade Tiger. I love it. This is something new for me and to be honest it's giving me that 90s type of look because that's coming back the only thing that i'm not happy about about the, the 90s look the 90s trend is the thin brows please don't bring that back and the low rise jeans as well so anyway that's off topic but i love this shade so much 
but guys i don't know if i mentioned this earlier but uh, even though some products were sent to me um which i am really thankful for uh my opinions are mine so that's why i wanted to take my time uh, like at least two weeks to be able to try this new product before coming here and giving you sharing my opinion with you guys so all i have to say is that i really 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 recommend this product if you want something really hydrating on the lips if you want something that is going to give you enough pigment but something that is going to feel really lightweight and it's going to look really beautiful this is the product for you remember that they have like eight shades that you can choose from shades that they have at the moment are just beautiful and i will have to say that if you hate the feeling of lipstick and if you like something a little bit more natural but you would like to try something a little bit different this is the product for you so i will have to say that if you want to try married beauty for the first time you can go for this product and you i will recommend that you go for the perfecting complexion stick because you are going to love it so those are the products that i recommend from this brand if you just want a few well maybe i, I can include the lip oil as well whether it's the the clear one or the one with the color and you can also try obviously the mascara if you want something a little bit more natural and easy to remove at night i think i i have like a lot to recommend to you guys but just go for these two the complexion uh perfecting complexion stick and the signature lip lipstick remember that um all of the products are going to be in the description box of this video and if you decide to buy something on Mer on the married beauty website for the first time if you're buying for the first time you can get the cute makeup bag that i have been enjoying for the longest time um this makeup bag you can wash it you can just throw it in the washer it's not going to stain the rest of your clothes and i will say that i, I mean i washed this multiple times and it has been holding the shape and the color uh, really really well so um, you can also get this brand on Sephora. They are also on Sephora, but if you want to get the makeup bag, it is only on the Merit Beauty website. I also want to thank Merit Beauty for sending me all of these beautiful products. Some of them were new to me um, and have been loving them. And some of them I have been using for the longest time ever since you launched your beauty line and I use them for the everyday. But I have to say that you did an amazing job with the Signature Lip Lipstick. I think, I mean, I love everything. The formula is great, packaging is beautiful, uh, the price is right. I love all of the shades that you have and I would love to see more in the future if that's possible. I will be really excited to try that. And I have to say that you just introduced me to my favorite lipstick and that's like a big thing to say for me because I am extremely picky with my lipsticks. I think I've mentioned that in the past before, but this lipstick feels so nice on the lips. Um, and I will just keep loving and using this every single day. So thank you so much. All right, guys. So I am back after many hours later. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I am tired. So I have to say that I have been really productive today. After filming, after doing my makeup with you, I had to take my dog to the vet. Um, he got some stitches, some staples removed after another surgery that he had. And he's actually... He's actually doing pretty good. He's sleeping right now. Um, after that, I came home. I filmed three or three reels. So that takes a while. And the house is messy after you film something. So I had to take care of some things here around the house. Then I got some packages, some boxes that I want to open with you. I want to show you the things that I've been getting lately. And um, after doing all of those things, I want to show you uh, my makeup because it's still looking really good, really glowy, dewy. So this is the way it's looking like. I only had to touch up my lipstick just once after filming the reels. Guys, and I have to say that I've been loving this like believe me when i tell you that it feels so natural on the lips it feels like you're wearing a lip balm like chapstick most of the time i only have chapstick on my lips and this is exactly what it feels like so the the fact that it has like color the, that it has pigment uh it's a plus and i really really like it so anyway i am going to put the camera down here um by the way did you notice that i did something on my hair so not too long ago i went to uh the hair salon after waiting for so long um i had to wait like two months for an appointment so i was desperate uh because my hair was looking like way too dark here with my 
roots because my hair my natural hair is really dark it's practically black um and here at the bottom i like i lost my words for a second so here at the bottom it was really really bright and brassy i didn't like that so i got a trim because it was much needed a much needed trim uh and we just went darker so what i got done was a reverse balayage so i just went darker with my hair so we got some low lights which is basically like uh darker pieces on your hair and then we toned down everything because it was looking a little bit too bright or too brassy and i think that i really like the look that we were able to achieve it looks like a balayage i still have some highlights but they look like a little bit softer everything is blended and it looks something like something a little bit more natural and i like that all right so i had to turn on the light because it is getting dark in here it is late and the sun is almost setting so i have to work fast here so guys uh spring is already here and i couldn't be happier because it is the time to start wearing my dresses and my my skirts shorts and everything so i wanted to get a pair of shoes that will go together with all of those things um so i am talking about a pair of nude sandals from stuart weitzman let me open this with you um i have to say that i already wore these sandals in my last video the styling video the uh, h&m and aritzia haul um just for the video and i have to say that after spending hours on those on the in these heels uh they are pretty comfortable like the height of the heel so i say hours because filming those type of videos take hours so anyway once you open the box you get this cute little dust bag for your shoes or whatever you want i always keep them so once you open the box, this is what you get. And these are the sandals that I ended up getting. So these are the nudist song sandal. I hope I am pronouncing that the way it is. So as I said, I recently got them and I have been loving them. I can't wait to actually wear them outside because it is still a little too cold here. Uh, like I am surprised because you will think of New Mexico like a really, really warm, but it's actually pretty, pretty cold. Um, it was actually snowing yesterday so anyway um so i got these sandals they are just so beautiful i got them in the size five and a half 5.5 uh, i actually went down half a size um, because i have a narrow foot and when i am wearing heels especially the ones that are open in the front my toes just go this just they just want to slide like just they just want to go outside so if I go with my regular size, which is uh, number six, I will end up with my toes looking like this. And that, that is just like, it doesn't look good and it is uncomfortable to walk in the shoes. I have to say that I love these sandals very, very much. First of all, the style, they are so simple, so basic. They go with everything. And I love the thin strap, the thin strap at the, here at the ankle and the thin heel as well. So I will have to say that the main reason why I got these shoes was um because i needed to upgrade like update the nude sandals that i had in my wardrobe because these are the ones that i have had for three or four years now uh these ones are from michael kors i love them especially because of the the height of the heel and they are only a little over three inches in height and i just love them because you can walk miles with this so i think that these are not available anymore but i just love them so much uh but if I, I felt like i like i started not liking some little things about these sandals and i was like oh, okay it's time to upgrade and get something else so as you can see um the leather first of all is shiny is the patent leather and this one from stuart weitzman like they are completely uh matte something that I was looking for. These ones have like a pink undertone in them. And I think that pink undertone goes really, really well for people with pale skin. And even though I am looking pale, my skin tone is not that light. So they looked a little bit off on me, like too pink on me. So I wanted and I needed something a little bit more neutral. And that's why I went for these ones from Stuart Weitzman because as you can see, the leather is more, more neutral, more, more beige, I would say. Not too brown, not too pink, just in the middle. So if you have a similar skin tone um, as mine and if you're struggling with the same thing, I truly recommend this brand because like 
look at the color it's really really nice anyway i love them so much i can't wait to wear them outside once you have them on your legs look like miles long because it looks like you're you are on your toes it looks like uh you're taller and it looks like you're just floating and i just love that i love the look that is exactly what i was looking for all right so now we're going to start opening amazon packages sorry it's too loud so I will have to say that uh, during the spring and summer, I like to wear my leather bags, but uh, it is the time to start wearing something different. So I love my straw bags and something else in a different material, a natural material. All right, so this is the cute little bag that I am talking about. It is, yeah, it's a natural material. It feels like, I forgot the name of the material, rattan. Uh, but look how cute. So let me detach the straps because they're tied together. And look how cute, look how cute. I am in love with it. I, I just opened this bag and I am in love with it. Look how cute, it looks like a picnic bag. And I think it looks so feminine. Uh, imagine this with a little scarf wrapped around the handles or here on the side that would look really beautiful this is the way that the bag looks like in the inside i will say that it is really spacious really roomy and i think i can fit a lot of things inside of this bag so for example my vlogging camera which is not too big some makeup obviously my new lipstick my card holder and my phone which by the way i'm going to give it a try so oh no that's perfect that's perfect i have the biggest phone which is the uh, iphone 12 pro max that's i think the max pro max is the biggest size that they have uh, available for iphones and you can actually like stick it in here sideways which is really really good so speaking of phone um i want to show you this case this case uh was sent to me for free uh, as a gift by the brand mason mason de sabre sabre sorry about the pronunciation uh but um anyways this brand was really nice they reached out to me they wanted to send me a gift um and i accepted but i want to mention this this was sent to me a couple of months ago and when brands do this when they offer to give you a gift you as a creator don't have the responsibility or you're not in the obligation to show or talk about the items um i only like to do these things if i really like the item um that's why i'm showing you this so after um uh, trying it for two months already i will say that i really really like it it looks really nice i don't know it's like a beige color and it has my initials in gold i didn't ask for this uh the lady that i was sending emails back and forth with did this i didn't ask for the color like it's just so me and i love it very much um this case is really nice just really aesthetic like it looks really beautiful to take pictures selfies and everything um but the only thing that i have to say is that it's just for the looks it doesn't offer like too much protection because it has this exposed the top the bottom in the sides as well uh, which i like because it looks really cute with the gold of the gold details of my phone but if i drop this i will be afraid of like losing money like yeah yeah so it looks really cute uh, but just keep that in mind you have to be extra careful with this i will have to say that i like i have my phone on my hands 24 7 and the color has stayed the same it hasn't started to uh, peel off or anything like that it's really really nice so uh just give them a try i will leave um this item in the description box of this video i forgot that i didn't show you uh, the outfit of the day so this is what i'm wearing this is an old not all i got this last year this is a shirt dress from mango just a plain shirt dress that i love so much and I love pairing it with a belt just to cinch in the waist. So the one that I'm wearing right now is from Isabel Morant. So I love 10 accessories. And by the way, I think the new bag will be perfect for this look, like really summery and everything. I love it. All right guys, so it is getting late and I think this vlog is a little bit too long now. So I think I am just going to wrap up this vlog here. I am going to start making dinner. I After that, I am going to obviously remove my makeup because as much as I love makeup, 
uh, it gets late in the day and I just want to remove it so after that I'm going to start editing some of the reels that I filmed today uh, I start editing this video as well and yeah that's it those are the plans that I have remember that everything is going to be in link down below so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next vlog in my next video bye guys